Welcome aboard what is now an old and ex Isle of Man fishery protection vessel as uh, very shortly this is off to Sierra Leone and Victor this is going to be yours. Oh I'm so delighted I've heard so much about this boat I've loved, loved to see it and now I'm on board this boat. <laughs> How I wish I could just take this boat to free town. <laughs> I know the last few minutes we'll be having a look around and it, it, and it, it looks in marvellous condition. Well, no it's quite okay mm. right I did not only be for the engine problems I would have said oh tomorrow then let's arrange a way of bringing it to free town. It's quite lovely and it's good for our purpose. Can you explain then what's going on back home that you need these sort of vessels? Um, back home actually we don't have any None. to say any we only have small craft mm -hmm. right that can go into the inshore but anything above five nautical miles no you see so with this we're going to do something great we'll be able to police our waters regularly and effectively right the boat is in quite good condition mm. for our purpose and this has all come about because of a meeting, well Andy of course from here went over, over to Sierra Leone and is that how it all came about? Yeah, well it came about um, through bilateral uh, um, relationship um, with the Isle of Man who actually looked into our problem, right, and then noticed that we are losing so much with, from our marine resources through illegal fishing and the best they can do is to help us with a boat that donates a boat to us so that we can police our waters and then increase revenue generation and provide food for our people. Fantastic. So when is this sailing off to your country? Um, you know, your area is, um, there's a little bit of difference, right? Mm -hmm. We are in the tropics and this boat was meant to be here, ah. right, in this temperate region. So they need some fitting, right, to change some engine or do some mechanic work so that then it will fit the temperature back in the tropics. Well we look forward to seeing some pictures of it uh, out there and uh, have a happy, well it's not in retirement is it, it's just going to go on to a very nice warmer climate than it's been in here. <laughs> yes, it's retiring from uh, <laughs> um, a temperate climate, it's now going to, um, it's like a, a rebirth <laughs> in, a, in, in a tropical country. So it's retired in a temperate country and rebirth in a tropical country. So it's going to live two lives. <laughs> it's a beautiful boat. And we're talking about Andy, and here he is, that the man responsible for this. Um, all because you've been out to Sierra Leone and, and seen what, or rather what they haven't got. Um, well, they've got a lot of wonderful things, actually. <laughs> um, I was seconded there as part of a World Bank project for two months last summer. Um, to help put in place um, good governance on a, um, a country that's making great strides forward. Um, they've got very little in the way of infrastructure. They've got a very keen ministry, a very keen staff who simply can't catch the poachers because they have no vehicles to do it in. Um, this was spare. We've managed to secure funding to refit a boat, hopefully on the Isle of Man, possibly to second two more civil servants or um, Isle of Man staff out there for three months to train the crew. It's a great opportunity for anyone any marine engineers out there who would like to be seconded, please contact us. Right. Um, the funding's already been secured from the World Bank, and we very much look forward to hearing how well this boat's doing in securing and saving livelihoods in, the, in Sierra Leone. So as you say, this has been retired out from service here in the Isle of Man, and just been sitting here for some time, is it, looking for a new home? Um, I think customs, have, customs and excise who had this vessel have um, got a different emphasis on the way they're doing maritime patrols, and so it, it became free mm -hmm. and it seemed much better to find a good cause for it than try and sell it second hand and not probably get much money anyway. So I know you've got great passion for this, will you have a chance yourself to go out and see how it's uh, getting on in its new place? Um, we'll be keeping close tabs on it, it's not, the boat's not just being given, mm -hmm. it's got a full fun funding package for two years worth of spare parts, two years worth of training, two years worth of fuel, um, there's no point in going if it's not well looked after and luckily for me I'll be going out later this year with some politicians, hopefully from the Isle of Man, um, at the invitation of the Sierra Leonean president for the handover ceremony.